Girl, let me tell y'all what's going on. Stevie J, shame on you. You know he got kids out here and they're watching you behave in this manner. It's dis disrespectful and distasteful. He has a black woman interviewer and he don't care about black women. He disrespect her so bad. He's on the phone. Don't got no clothes on. Okay, she's trying to take her career serious. Don't got no clothes on. And on top of that, he had another somebody. I don't know if it was a man or a woman. You know how he get down. Uh, giving him some head. Yeah, giving him some head, child. And he thought it was cute. Okay, now you see she's trying to laugh it off. But guess what? Um, so no that's her talking back. Uh, they say um, Lisa Ray. And Vivica Fox, they both had something to say about this. All right, so we're going to check this out. Let's start from the top. The mean? best day of Mona of life was when she met me, you know? Ooh. You, no, yeah. you said that. You said that in your uncensored. Um, I know I said. I know what I said. I know what I said. I know what I said. Yes. So I want to talk about it because it was really good. And I was, I was happy that you addressed a lot of... Um, well, honestly, you addressed everything. I, I really appreciate the fact that you, you know, decided to do that. So in the very beginning, speaking of reality, what The you best day of Mona life was when she met me. And so there's no victim here. I turn it, turn it so we can see you this way. Uh, this way? Yep. Yep. How's this right here? Yep. Stevie. You see this body right here? Hold on, wait. It's a hair right there. Hold on. <laughs> Steve, Steve, uh -uh. Why doing too much. Now? No, he said you want to. Um... You're, you're a distraction. You're you're a distraction. We trying to. Find no, you're a distraction. Picture. No, you're a distraction. Uh -huh. We're talking about you. He's so nasty. Take the camera. And these are black fathers out here. So you want me to take the camera too? That's a distracting angle. This one. <laughs> This is a mess. I cannot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is why we do this right here. I do this for this right here. Okay, okay. You do this for this. Okay, but I want to get serious because you talked about some important stuff and I want people to see everything oh, about shit. it. Okay, get, get information. Yeah. Get your hair right. We're going to get, we going to dive into it. No, get your I turn it, turn it. Yeah, that's not right. What do y'all think? Comment below because we're going to talk about this. And um, Vivica Fox, they both they spoken out. Did. So we, we don't have to see this no more because I'm not trying to see him. All right. But um, it's disrespecting to that black woman and the disrespect to the thought that he's doing this with. But, yeah, he's going to want people to respect his daughters. You know what I'm saying? If that was your uh, daughter doing an interview, you don't want another man doing all this unnecessary, produ productive, whatever you want to call this stuff. But listen. Go ahead. Vivica. What do y'all think was going on during this interview? Vivica, what do you think? Corny. It's your corny ass. <laughs> thirsty. Thirsty ass. He's too old. Sense because, I mean, I, I, I get that you want to, you know, do the cray cray and the play play. But that's just disrespectful to the young lady. That just shows that you have no coot, no respect. And for the interviewer, she tried to play it off, but I'm sure she was like, what the hell? You know what I mean? It's like, why? You grown, you're a grown man, you're a father. A grandfather. What daughter? What daughter? Like, what are you doing? Why? Why you wanted people Girl. to create stuff? They do anything for the grand. Y'all really need to get on these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Especially the older ones like Stevie J up in his sixties. This is a dang shame. Uncalled for. You know what I'm saying? And uh, this is her. She's speaking out. Check this out. There's no victim here. And that's why I want everybody to understand I'm not woohoo and boohoo and crying. I do feel like after watching it back, it was disrespectful. So I want to be clear. Um, but I'm not sitting here emotional or sad about that. I think for me, it's it's the disgusting comments like, you liked it. That's why you sat there. Oh, you were getting pleasure out of this oh you like that he was flirting with you let me tell you something there's not a god thing that stevie j could ever say to me to make me enjoy that type of behavior from a man i didn't ask it from okay? thank you i believe in consent thank and you that's what some of you are failing to realize at the end of the day where people are like getting flustered and there's a blurry line it's about consent i never consented to being a part of any type of bedroom behavior that Stevie J decided to do and that's where it is really messing with me how people are turning this on me 
Yeah, and let me tell you something. He's trying to force his thing on her. There's no victim. He's trying to force his thing on here. Have the same respect that you will want people to have for you. Let me give you a fake scenario. If Stevie J, okay, or Stevie J's son that's 20-something was an interview, a young interview, and he interviewed RuPaul. RuPaul is doggy style, got his behind up in the air, doing some stuff with another man. You say, why are you trying to push that on that young uh, interviewer? Why would you do that, RuPaul? That's uncalled for. It's the same thing. Have respect. But they don't see it like that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's always been one-sided. Yeah, y'all really need to chew Stevie J out for disrespecting that black woman like that. In the comment section, the whole community talking about you wanted it. Who wants that? A sticksy old D? And his ass probably broke like Benzino ass. He don't got nothing God for him. Faith Evans don't even want his ass. Okay? Ain't nobody checking for Stevie J. Girl, I did an interview a long time ago. Shit, Stevie J. Anybody can get Stevie J. You, if you a nigga, you can get him. If you a girl, you can get him. He a freak. He's freaked the F out. And with them sugar boogers, okay? Ain't nobody stunning Stevie J. How dare you? But you know what? I ain't, let me get out. DJ, turn me up. Turn me up and get me out of here. I love y'all. Now, I'll see y'all later, okay? <laughs>